All right, so uh, we have the leftover Allen key. Now, the beauty of this is that we can store it because this is magnetic. You just pop it underneath here. Pull it, sneak it away here. So you have it there. It's always around. It's a good tool rest underneath there, so nothing will be out of your way. Uh, another thing you may need is a small bottle. Uh, I use this small bottle here. It's just a little drop bit, uh, eyedropper kind of thing. Um, it just puts a little bit at a time. It's all you're really going to need for the Chapman's and Joceras. But you can use it on the stock stones as well. So you'll need some water. I suggest some tissues as well to keep things clean. Now to get things started, um, we have here on our arm, there is an angle cube guide rest. Uh, I don't have an angle cube at the moment, but basically you would set your angle by putting the cube on here, and this is the place where the cube is supposed to go. All right, so we have our rest over here. Again, our tool rest, our work rest. This is a three-point guide. This is a real innovation for the Hapstone. Uh, what this allows you to do is to sharpen knives that have like a swept back or curvature, because if you were to put them straight across, there's that magnet. If you were to put them straight across here, and here are very different positions. So we, we can use the th three point guide to position the blade so it's a little more average. And then we can uh, flip it around both sides. So I'm gonna set that up now. Okay, so this was a little too close to the edge here. So what we're gonna do is loosen up our, our uh, screw here, our, set that back. This area here, the rubberized part is pure magnet. So this is, it's staying there, man. And it's really, pretty sturdy. The best way to get it up is to kind of roll it back. So we're going to set up the blade here. I have a, a thumb stud. So what I'm going to do is get that on there. Okay, now if I put this like in the correct position where in the heel, you see what happens at the tip. It's not going to get anything done because it's on the actual magnet here. If I were to switch it this way, I'm back behind there. So the best way to do is kind of because my thumb stud limits to how far I can come forward here. So what I have to do is make sure that the tip is here but that the heel is there. So right now I'm gonna extend a little bit. So this part extends out the furthest, but the heel and the tip are on the same plane as best as possible here. Now this angle is hard to reproduce because of the swept back here and because now we have this little thing in here. So the way the three-point guide works is really amazing. So what we're gonna do is slide up the teeth of the three-point guide. I'm hitting the, the, knife, the, stone, the knife, then we're going to take the middle piece and adjust that to here, okay? Now it comes up to this point in the blade. Right there and right there. Okay, then we're going to secure that down. Now this is kind of in the middle. So what I'm going to do is, because of this knife being the way, it's not just a, a single back here. I'm going to make sure that I align this up to the middle, okay? just so that when I flip it over, I'm still in the middle here. Now, a little bit of play, but that goes away as soon as you tighten it down. So I'm here, you can see I'm not quite in the middle yet. So I'm gonna adjust that, okay? Make sure that the tip again and everything is off the actual front end. It's a little tricky the first few times. Okay, now that's right in the middle. I've got my tooth there. So what we're gonna do is come in with your Sharpie or your marker what I do is right down the middle here, all right? Put my line, and I'm gonna extend that line right onto the knife, okay? I'm gonna put another line on the other end here. The black on black, you'll still see it, but that line extends, and what I've done here on the knife, which will be removed by alcohol later, it's no big deal, and it's my knife, okay? Pull that over, what I'm gonna do is extend that line here, Extending that, and then I'm going to extend that line again. Okay, so now originally that line's up here, this is in the middle, right? That's my reference guide. And when I flip the knife over, other side, ha ha ha, line up the knife, line up there. I'm in the center here as well, and everything is peachy in terms of getting a scratch, and I'm off everywhere. So I'll move that up just a hair more. There. So I have a good positioning here. It's consistent. So when I flip the knife over, it, it stays the same, basically. All right. So the only thing to do now is to sharpen.